a number of people asking about this ANTS indicator that that uh, I came up up with when I was running the mutual fund at, uh, at William O'Neill and Company. And it's, so let me give you the definition of of the quote ANTS indicator. Um, it's it, it's it's three different things. It's you want to see a twenty percent. A 20 to 25 percent increase in the price of the stock from the beginning of the move to, and I count about 15 days. It's a 15 day period. So you need a 20 to 25 percent increase in price. You want to see the volume increase during that 15 day period. You want to see it increase by. 20 to 25 percent and the bigger the bigger the better and then you also want to see about 12 out of 15 days up during that 15 year 15 day period of time so so when you're looking at uh, you're looking at tesla if you count back 15 days and maybe ed you can go back to where that 15 day period started i guess this and, would be 15 days this yes. is the 15th day so like okay from so here. You you have you I, I see one requirement is met. You had it, it looks like you had 13 out of 15 days up, which is good. And you can you can start from any any 15 at any spot and 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 look for that count. And but then okay, is the stock uh, is the price of the stock up 20 percent? And it looks like so it started at seven. I mean yeah, 700 and. I don't know what that exactly is, but maybe 770 and it's up to 927. I think that's at least that's a 20% gain if I can if I can figure that least, out. I think it's yeah. So okay. Yeah. So you got you got two requirements, but the, then the third requirement is did you get the volume during that 15 day period? And I see two two or three days that hit uh, that were above average daily volume. A number of the other ones were um, but I don't see overwhelming volume during that during that period of time. So uh, to me, it really doesn't have that um, those qualifications because what you what the the reason why I came up with this is because I was looking at um, uh, when I was running the mutual fund, I was you know using O'Neill principles and I would start buying a stock, but then uh, you know. Soon after I started buying it, other institutions, I guess, were buying it, and the stock got extended. And so we stopped our buying, and I didn't get that big of a position. But I saw some of these things just keep on going. And so I asked the question, was, what's the difference of a stock that just makes a 15%, 20% move and then is over, and a stock that makes a 15%, 20% move, builds a base, and then keeps on going again and again and turns out to a big, be a big, big winner? And, and what a lot of these had in common is that they had this huge block of volume, this huge price gain, and it occurring over a, a, 12, a 15 uh, day period of time. That was the difference maker between a stock that just would have a, a nice little run and something that could be a, a, a big, big winner. And so it, what, it, what it is demonstrating is institutional buying over a three week period of time because institutions, they've got so much money, they're putting tens of millions of dollars to work when they're buying a, any stock. In most cases, they have to do it over a longer period of time. And they, they can't get their position built in one day or two or three, even a week. It takes them weeks to get a position. So that's what that's the whole thinking behind this. And I don't I don't actually see this in, in Tesla right here. Now, we could probably go back and see some other periods. And I was trying to think of uh, of other uh, situations recently that had that. But I um, but, you know, maybe Justin knows of one. But uh, yeah, I've got a couple. Um... You know, and I, uh, th this first one is is really thin, um, but you can take a look at uh, SCHL. That's uh, Scholastic. Very thin. It only trades like about a hundred thousand shares a day. But again, just to kind of give give an idea of the concept and and the the, the volume here is what really kind of sticks out. Um, yeah, are I'm you uh, over here? Uh, SCHL uh, don't have the volume bars, but I, I'm going to call it up. Sorry, sir. Um, try to get this back up. 
Okay. But there, there, there's your 12 out of 15 days. Yeah, there's, yeah. Okay. And that's, you know, that's a move straight off the bottom and I wouldn't be buying it here, but, but now it, the stock is starting to pull back, but what, you, what you want to see. And even if it, it, you don't have to buy on that 12 or 15, you, you always have to, uh, no matter if this stock has those characteristics or not, you have to wait for a base to form. But I always like to see that buying somewhere along the line that's the type uh when i'm looking at it that's the type of volume that yes that that i want to see so this has all those characteristics and the reason why we call it ants is because the programmer who programmed it he would actually put in a black dot right. yeah. on top or, or when that started coming in right above the price and so what you would start seeing is you'd see all these little ants the little black dots, and we started calling them ants um, on on top of that. So, so just because it gets that, that does, doesn't mean that you should be buying the stock. It means it's gotten some huge volume, it's gotten some institutional support, and now what you do is you wait for a base to form. And if it has the other characteristics too, which it looks like it does, it's got some. It had some great earnings the last quarter. The last four quarters of sales have been good. Uh, I don't know what happened that quarter, to, uh, two quarters ago, the February 28th quarter, but this is this is just a, a, to me it's a it's a great place to start to to say hey you missed this move but that's just telling you that maybe this is a situation that's going to go longer and there was another uh, question on a stock called Titan T I T N and. Okay, so I look at this and I see, okay, 12 out of 15 days, it's gotten it, but where's the volume? Right. It got two days of volume, uh, above average daily volume. You didn't get that her tremendous block of volume. Uh, so to me, this, this doesn't qualify. And I just, I know this company, very cyclical. And if you bring up a monthly uh, chart on this, you'll see this thing is up and down and up and down. It's sort of like, yeah, a little roller coaster ride on Titan. And I think Greg Opelka had a, uh, a question also on DY. And I think he might have mentioned this. Uh, and so, um, I think I think it, it, maybe his question wasn't on the ants, but I don't see that you don't see the block of, of 12 out of 15 days up. This stock is going into new high ground, and he was I think he said he had a seven percent position. Should he add to this? I would be careful in adding to this right here because you didn't get a whole lot of volume as the stock was going into new high ground. You got a, a couple days, which was good, but you also have to think that the stock was 90 about six or seven days ago, and now it's trading at 106. It would be great to just see this stock drift off and then start coming on. And that's, I, I, I just think this is a little bit risky here to, to be adding to that position. Gotcha. Yep. And there was, there were a lot of questions about P lab. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bo, you know, um, photronics. I'm not sure if it quite gets the 12 yeah, out of you, 15, but yeah. Uh, and you see, did it really? Did it get? Did it get the tremendous of volume? And and yes, it would be it would be great if we could get this uh, programmed, um, so we can we can all start looking for it. But you almost have to do it manually by adding up the volume every day and comparing it to the. You know, adding up the volume over the last 15 days and comparing that to the average daily volume is that uh, is that up over 25 percent um, for that same period? And it doesn't look like it's got it. But the the basic thinking behind it again is is huge institutional buying over a three week period of time, and that's a characteristics of some of the greater greater winning stocks. I've got one more for you, uh, AHCO. Uh, this is in the outpatient home care. Um, now, the, the the volume is is certainly you know come in very strong lately, and this is because Yay. it was added to the S and P six hundred. I was wondering. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, so. a lot of, that's a big volume <laughs> yeah. move ahead of earnings. So, wow. uh, so yeah, so this is this is distorted a little bit because of that. Uh, so it doesn't have the the steady volume that you're you're, you're typically looking. Yeah, for. But this so was another it, one that came up. Yeah, so it did have that 12 out of 15 days, which is great, but it didn't have the volume. It did have the price. So it only had, 
it had um, two two out of three of those characteristics. So to me, it's uh, you know, but that doesn't mean this can't be a, a good stock either. So you might as you can put this on a watch list, see if it can uh, base out here, and then maybe you can get it on the next move. Great earnings. Um, one least. one more is in the biomed biotech area, AVTE. Um, and this is another very thin one. That that looks like it, uh, it it might qualify, but again, it looks yeah it it, did, it definitely got the twelve out of fifteen days. It looks like it got the volume, and it looks like it got the price, um, the price appreciation during that during that period of time. So where do you go from there? Well. Then you put that on the watch list. You you look into it. What created that move? Is there some, you know, stage three drug that's about to be approved, or uh, is what is? I, I I then like to go in and and start looking into the company because just to uh, at least for me, just to buy it off the chart. And 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 right here it's extended, so you don't you don't step in right here. You wait for some kind of pullback, some kind of drifting, uh, before you can, you can take a position. But I, I'd like to know exactly what they're doing. Yeah, and especially since this is not one with earnings or revenue, so you, you're, it's very thin. No earnings, no revenue. So uh, again, very, very speculative in that regard. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.